Nearly a week after President Obama said insurance companies could renew canceled policies for another year, there's still no firm plan on what will happen here in Connecticut. This as Republican leaders in the General Assembly are questioning the numbers of canceled policies announced by the state insurance department. Chief political correspondent Mark Davis joins us live now with the latest, Mark. Hi, Sonia and Darren. Good evening, everyone, from the Hartford Newsroom. Yeah, late this afternoon, a spokesperson for the state insurance department says that numbers that were released earlier this week were made from rough data and that more information should be available in the days ahead. Of the approximately 3.5 million Connecticut residents, the state insurance department says only about 27,000 health insurance policies have been canceled and only about 9,000 because of Obamacare. The minority leader in the Connecticut House says the numbers are suspect. Our phones are ringing off the hook. We're getting emails of individuals who have individual policies that have been canceled. The state's largest health insurance provider, Wallingford-based Anthem Blue Cross Blue Shield, with about 50 percent of all individual policies in the state, would only say they are still analyzing their options and can't comment yet about going forward. I understand this frustration. I'm frustrated. I, I think the federal government has messed up big time. But the governor says many people facing potential cancellation should be able to find affordable coverage from the state exchange called Access Health CT. We believe as we push the numbers around and look at it, uh, that smaller group does relatively well uh, in most cases, but not all, not all, uh, uh, in the exchange. So we're trying to figure that out. But just how many people are actually looking to the state website as an alternative is unknown. We're actually calling people, uh, working with the uh, insurance companies and reaching out uh, uh, to individuals to, to make sure that they're doing the comparison. I think as many people are doing the comparison, there are far more who haven't done it yet. They're scared. They know that they will have to comply with the law by January 1st. They then hear the president sort of backtrack on the original policy. They, he gives the authority to the insurance commissioner. We have to get a grip on what we're doing here. In fact, the Connecticut Insurance Commissioner is in Washington right now, this afternoon, meeting at the White House to try to help straighten out what the governor says is a mess. Live from the Hartford Newsroom, Mark Davis, News 8.